Guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial video, and I apologize if my voice sounds a little off. I'm a little under the weather, so please bear with me. Anyhow, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the whole text um, into video type looking effect like you saw in the intro. So let's get started. As you can see down here, I have my audio dragged into my audio timeline that I'm going to be using on this. And I have three clips over here in my uh, preview um, section that I want to have behind the mask layer of the SAM text um, that you guys saw in the intro. So first things first, we just need to drag our three um, video layers over here. So if you have four letters, you may want four or however you want to do it. But we want to make sure that we get those um, all over here so last one here and the thing is you want to make sure that it fills out your entire audio um, to, you know you want it to be over the entire piece of audio or uh, duration of part where it's going to be showing the SAM or whatever your text is going to say and I didn't start it over here in this area because this is where my beat drops and this is where I'm first going to show everything so what we need to do now is we need to create our what we're going to call our text mask layer. So we need to click on this text icon, and then click on our layer here, and we're going to just type in what our text is going to be. And now if you will go up here to the upper left to effect controls, you will see this is where you can change your font size and all that good stuff. And I recommend a very bold text, and probably all, cap le all capital letters. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on Window, and then essential graphics and it's going to either pop up in its own little island and then you can click that and drag over here into the right or it will go ahead and snap into the right section over here which is what I like and make sure that if it's on browse you need to click on edit as you can see we're working with our SAM text layer here and I'm going to by clicking right here and scrolling to the right I'm going to make this text a lot bigger and then right here you can align vertically and horizontally um, your text and so I want to go ahead and make it just a little bit bigger and then I'm going to vertically and horizontally align again and I actually am going to take the text down just a little bit call that good right there so now we need our little black background or a rectangle so what we're going to do on that is we're going to go up to graphics new layer then rectangle and just like on the text we need to make this a whole lot bigger so I just drag over and make it completely huge and then I will click on th these two to vertically and horizontally align it. Then we need to make sure that our text layer is above our shape so we have this. So now we are good to go. So going back down to our timeline here, we want to make sure that this our text layer completely covers our three video layers. So that's why I drug that to the right like that. So now, how do we get the video to start showing in these text layers? So what we're going to want to do is with the text layer selected, you want to go up to your effect controls, and here under opacity you will see blend mode. Now on that, you're going to want to hit this little drop down list and choose multiply, which as you can see now, we can see this very top video layer through it. Now I want this very top video layer to be in the M, this middle one to be in the A, and this bottom one to be in the S. So here's how you go about doing that. Right now we're working on getting the top layer, which is what we're seeing, into this M. So now what I want to do is you're going to go over here into effect controls with this layer selected and you're going to mess with your scaling. And as you can see as I scroll to the left it makes it smaller but I want to get it just big enough to where it, you know, it fits inside there. And then over here we can move it left, right, up, or down so I'm going to move it to the right. And right there, about right there is where I'm going to want that to show in the M. So as you can see right here in the A we have a line right here where this video is still showing. So here's what we can do to cut that out. Right here under opacity again, we're going to hit the pen tool. And then what you're going to want to do is draw a little box around the letter that you want that to show only in. So now as you can see, it cut that out and it's only showing in the M. Now what we are seeing in the S and A is this middle layer that I just clicked on. Now we're going to work with it. Middle layer selected up here to the top left to up effects controls. And then we're going to mess with the scaling and position again. So as you can see, as I scroll to the left, it makes it smaller. Let's make it just big enough to where it fits. 
And then again, you can drag to the left and right till you're good. I like it about right there. And then we're going to click our little pen tool. And the same as last time, we're going to draw our little box just around the A here because we don't want it showing in the S. Now, as you can see, it's only showing there. So now, all that leaves to do is position and scale the bottom layer for the S. So let's go ahead and take our scaling down. Now we need to drag over so we can see it. And as you can see, we need to get our, uh, our scaling correct. We need to scroll to the right a little bit to make sure it fits all the way. And then it looks like we are good to go. So now, as you can see, what we have going on is we have SAM, SAM written, and we have all three video layers playing at the same time, which is very cool. So now, how do you animate it to where each letter comes up um, at, at the time that you choose or want it to? So what you're going to do on that is you want to select the SAM tech, your text layer up top, and then over here, um, if you'll find your text layer right here, so see text SAM, if you'll select it, then on source text, if you'll click this little clock looking icon, what that's going to do is that's going to turn on keyframes to where we can set a keyframe uh, where we want it in, inside this timeline. So for instance, right here at this point, I just want the S on here. So I'm going to click inside here and I'm going to delete the M and I'm going to delete the S. And then so what ha so as you can see we play it and then right as the beat drop the S comes up. And then I want the second letter to reveal right here. So at this point then I'm just going to type in an A, okay? And then I'm going to hit play again. Then right here is where I want my M to come in. So now I'm just going to put my M in there. And for some reason, sometimes Adobe Premiere is really weird on this. It puts, I typed in M at the end of that and it keeps doing that. So what I figured out that I have to do is I actually have to type in SMA and I don't know why that is. It's so very, very strange. Hopefully yours doesn't give it trouble like that. But anyways, at that point my M will come up. And then if you'll go back here, watch what happens. And of course that was real laggy and that's just because of the, the RAM and all that good stuff. If I pre-rendered this, then it would look like this. So there you have it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. If you did, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And as always, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already as I will have more Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial videos like this coming up in the future.